Welcome to our fourth quarter carrier update series, where in every episode, I sit down with a different insurance company representative and ask them what you can expect during the upcoming renewal season. In this series, you'll get product updates directly from the carriers, like what do the new plan designs look like? Or is there a network option that you need to be aware of? Or what plan designs offer the most savings potential for your prospects and your clients? Or what tools and resources does the insurance company make available to you in all those efforts? At the end of the day, we want you to win more business and retain your clients during a busy renewal season. So tune in, buckle up, and enjoy the show. Hi, and welcome back to another installment of our fourth quarter carrier and product updates. My name is Jason Powers. Legacy Brokers. I am joined uh, by a longtime friend and associate in the industry, Mark George from United Healthcare and All Savers. Mark, welcome. Thank you very much. Like I said, good to be here. Um, I know most of you are working from home virtually, and uh, we're hoping to give you some fourth quarter updates about United Healthcare and what's going on. And uh, we have a slideshow as well as a presentation we're going to do for you today to give you some information. For sure. And I know, Mark, we've talked a little bit about uh, the core network. Uh, what, what that what that really is so t tell me what you know what is what does that mean for the brokers here in the Kansas City market the core is a new network we've just recently put together that's going to go into effect on January 1st 2021 for all products all sizes and what that is we have a partnership with St. Luke's health plan as well as Children's Mercy Hospital those aren't the only two hospitals in the network but it will be a smaller concentric network which will allow employers to buy products at a much lower rate than they're paying today of up to 12 to 18 percent depending on the size of the case also in ACA rates 51 plus rates as well as all savers so wow. very excited about that coming into play for 2021 big big uh, big big savings so is that is that a, is that an EPO then is that how that's going to work yes it's an EPO and the networks that's available in today are Clay Platt Wyandotte Johnson and Jackson, 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 yes, and Jackson, yes. Got it. So, uh, and, and, and with that EPO, so we're, you can't, uh, you can't buy the EPO product and buy a, like a PPO product together, right? In fact, I'm glad you asked that question because yes, you do. You can dual option this with the Choice Plus plan design. So if you do have employees out of state, they can buy the other plan option. Okay. Kind of with some of the other carriers they have in the market today. That's fantastic. All right. What, uh, so what's, what's going on with all savers? All savers? as I've mentioned in earlier conversations, is our most competitive product right now. It's available for groups five to 100. That's been extended up to 300. So your key account rep can actually quote that now over 100 lives wow. that just came out. So we're excited about that. It's a wonderful, full funded product with no risks to the clients. The main things we've added lately is under Healthiest View, which is our virtual visit program, which is more important now than ever. If your children, for example, or your husband aren't covered under the plan today under this, they can still use our Healthiest View benefits. So they don't have great. to be covered by the plan. Correct. You can add the entire family unit to the healthiest you feature, and everybody has access to uh, with really the telemedicine piece because the virtual visit. Uh, the other thing I know that you guys have done is you're starting to see more claims that would be in that virtual visit category, but those are with the primary care physician maybe here in town, not with the healthiest you doc that would just be a state board certified state you know, so that so is, doctor in our state right that is correct and, and, the, and the main thing i like about this program is not only does it assist those families at home during the COVID times but all the claims from the healthiest you do not count against your claim costs for the group that's interesting okay so when we're looking at claims reporting uh the healthiest you utilization really does take out of uh take, like completely take out of the the equation like what that utilization can do for the group so uh, so if you've got a group that has a lot of doctors visits you might really benefit by seeing them go healthiest you versus uh, versus actually having those those outpatient visits that's fantastic oh, yes yeah, so we get the employer to buy into it get the employees to buy into it it'll save the employer overall claims experience and less hopefully lower the renewal so what okay so then what's with all the plan codes because I get confused is it EP HP HQ LI I80, LX, what are all these, what are all these, what are all these codes? I'm glad you asked me, because <laughs> Robert's been complaining about these 
15 digit codes on our plan design. Well, as of August 1st, with our new portfolio, we have shortened those to make a lot more sense. So example, $1,000 PPO plan is now called P1000, I100 for 100% coinsurance, or I80 for 80% coinsurance. Okay. Hopefully that's more simple. A lot less letters, <laughs> a lot easier to understand. We've simplified it. We've gone to all dual co-pays in our plans because we used to have single and dual co-pays. We figure historically, the single co-pays are going away. Most peers have gone to double copay, so that'll make it easier. And our portfolio won't be 200 plans. It's more in the 40 range, kind of like our ACA portfolio. Perfect. Well, I know it's made our uh, our role a little bit easier when we're trying to consult with agents about what uh, what what product category best fits the needs of their client as we're looking through your quotes. And uh, it's it's been a welcome reprieve for us not not to have to figure out no, sure. what all those codes really mean. No, for sure. And the most important thing is that in my experience from this year, starting about last fall, Allstavers is our most competitive product. Yeah. For five, if you have a, a semi-healthy group from five to fifty, it's a very competitive product. We actually saw in fifty-one plus the rates flipped. The fully insured used to be cheaper than Allstavers in the prior year, but since last fall. The all savers rate has been 10 to 15% better because it's an underwritten product. It's running better than our fully insured block. And thus, I'm actually starting to sell cases in the 51 plus segment where I hadn't before. That's good. Uh, and, and, and underwriting, from an underwriting perspective, uh, we talked about you know, agents are kind of living in this virtual world now. There's not really um, a lot of on site enrollment going on. Uh, I know. Uh, our agents know that they can use our form fire uh, to, to produce applications on those cases, but, um, but I thought at one point there was a shift kind of back to GRX. Is that in a certain size segment? What's yes. It, with all savers, the only time we need applications is on groups that are 5 to 19 enrolled. Okay. So anything 20 to 300 now, the extended market on it, it's GRX underwriting to make okay. it much easier on the client. We would never need an application from an employee. Perfect. So if they got 20 or more enrolled, up to all the way up to 300, we can GRX the case. They don't ever have to go and get an app. Sure. Uh, and those underwritten rates, I know our timeline on the turnaround uh, here in the last 30 days has been phenomenal with all savers. The underwriting department seems to be getting, uh, I think they're getting inundated just based on what's going on with your yes. rates. But to know that they're able to keep up with that uh, that that demand and turn quotes around pretty quickly is, is certainly welcome on our side. So right. Great, Jerex is much faster and we hope much more accurate. We'll see long term. We'll see, right? We can cross our fingers. So then, what's exactly. uh, what, what we've got value adds here? What's uh, what, what are the value adds with United and All Savers? Yeah, a lot of the obviously with the spreadsheet mentality we have today, a lot of the value adds get fallen off the spreadsheet. Sure. So. I just want to kind of re remind people what things we do, especially with the wellness that's so important to employees today, is our, our first thing is Rally. Rally is our online wellness tool okay. where you can set up competitions within your workplace. You can have, there's information on workouts, diet, overall lifestyle changes. It makes it kind of fun in a game online environment. You earn coins. You can use those coins then for raffles for items that are given away on a national basis. So it's pretty 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 fun online wellness overall and nutrition tool that we have. And that's all integrated within the My, with, my UHC. They don't have to go to a separate. Correct, it's all integrated to My UHC portal. It's all, it's available for all groups, one 100, all savers and full insured. Oh, so even on my all savers site, then it's all integrated there too. That's fantastic. Yes, and in addition to that, we have Real Appeal. Real Appeal is a true weight loss program. Employees actually get a kit with a scale, measuring instruments, books, exercise videos, rubber bands for exercise at home. So it's, it's a great program. We've had a lot of success with it. The, um, the employees with a 23 BMI or greater, hello, <laughs> are uh, eligible for the program. If you're less than that, too bad for you. <laughs> but, uh, but, and then last but not least, we continue to do no fee administration on both all savers and fully insured for COBRA. For state continuation on all savers 20 or more, because remember, state continuation is not available for groups one to 20 because they avoid state mandated sure, benefits. Sure. Gotcha. And then uh, if we've got cases that are moving mid, you know, mid contract, they don't they, they don't uh, have a January renewal. Uh, I know we've we've uh, often incorporated uh, into the term the sample term letters that we send out to agents to give to their clients. 
uh, language about deductible credits, et cetera. What's, wh what's a little bit different with the transition to United? So there's, there's a couple of different things. With, with fully insured, we give full deductible and out-of-pocket credit when moving to another carrier mid-year, unless you're buying a policy or plan side. With all savers, we only give out-of-pocket credit if you're a current UHC fully insured customer moving to an all savers product at renewal. Okay. Otherwise, a new all savers case to us, we only give deductible credit, hoping to change that in the future. That's one of my top list of sure. things I'd like to have us match what we do with fully but insured. Good, but good today, to know where it's different. For today, we don't give out a pocket credit on all savers. Gotcha. And another plan feature with with United that's a little different. I mean, we've had, we've seen the zero zero dollar copay for kids. We can't call it the free copay or free book. Yeah, the no kids, kid no kid copay. No kid copay has <laughs> is, is now been added to the all savers product with our new portfolio, yeah. August first. So the no kid copay is now available on our products for under age as kids under nineteen, and. And just the last thing to remember, I think we're the only carrier, you can let me know for now, but they're still considered OBGYN at a PCP lower level copay. I, I think I think you're right there. I don't uh, so uh, I couldn't I couldn't argue with you. Those you those are the value adds <laughs> that come off the top of my head at the moment. So I hope that helps. Uh, uh United, you know what I love about United anytime we quote uh, the all savers product is we we still get a strong national network and choice plus. I know that uh, I know that in some markets if we if we if we have enough in network utilization after a couple of years, there's a there's a good argument for maybe just peeling back to choice only instead of choice plus. Right. Um, and and these are these are networks where United's not out renting or trying to facilitate with other other uh, managed care companies. Right. It's all United owned. That's one thing I always like to United Healthcare. We have our own networks. We don't rent any networks, whether it be ancillary, medical, or otherwise. We own our own networks. Um, we are the largest single carrier in the country, obviously, because some other carriers are broken up and segmented for profit, not for profit, et cetera. Sure. So that gives us a little advantage there. And the nice thing about all savers and fully insured, which weren't at the beginning, is that the PDL, prescription drug list, and the network are all the same Cross for both the products. Yeah. Cross in, the in the past, board. that wasn't the case, but in the last year or so, that has been the case. So excited to make it easier on the agent, not have to worry what network, what prescription drug list do I use? It's all the same. And I know uh, most of our conversations anymore are, uh, are kind of around the idea that, hey, Mark, we have another case coming over on the medical side. And your, your immediate question to me is, can I get the dental, the vision, and the life? Can I get some ancillary in there? What's, what's, uh, what's the advantage of packaging this? Yeah. There's many advantages. Obviously, the, the best one is for the employer, the ease of administration. I can't imagine someone with, I've seen it, five different carriers on one case. Whenever Joe Smith comes off and John Doe comes on, they have to notify all five carriers. It's not done under one single site. It's much easier to have it all with one carrier. Not only is it easier administratively, but we have discounts built in place. We have package savings on small group. We have a dollar for life, two provision, free for dental, for employer paid products. That's off the bill, right? I mean, and so that's, that's a, a 30, direct credit off the bill. If I get a $32 employee rate on the dental and I've, and I've packaged that in with my medical, uh, it's going to come off the bill, a $3 per participant credit on my bill to knock that really down to a $29 net rate. That's correct. That's correct. You won't see it in the bill rates, but it'll be a bill, it'll be a credit at the bottom of the bill. The employer can apply to that, help the employees pay for it, however they want to use it. Fantastic. Uh, what, what, else, what else is going on, on the ancillary side? And, and also, in addition to, I always tell people the street rates go out the street, are the street rates. Right. But I know you're we're competing with a very competitive ancillary ancillary because there's a lot of carriers out there in the market. I do have rate relief available, so don't hesitate to ask me for that. You're one of my better agencies I have, so I'd be more than happy to offer that to you every single time we go out there. We want to be the best. I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll settle for being one of the better, but we'll, we want to be the best. So, I see you I see you getting that one. <laughs> so don't worry about that. But. And last but not least, I want to mention there's a new bonus program for the fourth quarter. If the group adds three or more lines, totaling 7,500 in premium for the ancillary, they're going to get a credit on their bill of $500 or more. We'll put more information at the end of the video here that'll tell them exactly how that works. Okay. And I'm very excited about that. And that credit goes directly back to the customer on their bill. So very excited about that. And uh, hopefully that'll help get us more ancillary on the books. So my boss and I'll stop bugging you. you stop, yeah, you stop asking me, right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, Mark, we appreciate, uh, appreciate you being at, you know, uh, it's a busy time of year. I know you've been slammed. It seemed to start a little earlier this year than it has in years past. It seems to. Uh, we're we're uh, we're talking. I think you know today you and I are talking. It's not even Labor Day yet, um, but uh, but it seems like uh, employers are certainly anxious to see what's going, what's coming down the pipe for 2021. 
Um, any tips, any last minute tips or tricks or things that you could, I'd if you could tell a broker, hey, this is what's coming, be ready for it? Well, obviously 12 one 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 are our most busy, effective dates. So what brokers need to remember is our 10-1 rates are out now and 10-1 rates and 12-1 rates are the same. So if people don't have birthdays in that period, those rates will be the same as December 1st. So don't wait till November to send in your December 1 quote request. We can quote rates for 10 one 11 one today, knowing that that rate table will stay the same. So that's one huge time saver, I hope. Yeah, so people sure. don't wait to slam us at the last minute. And the earlier you get that new business in for 12 one, you don't get in line with the other 5,000 groups that we're writing in the Midwest. And uh, it'll keep things speed up. 51 100 and all savers underwriting, like Jason said, it's still pretty quick turnaround. We We've actually bring underwriters from other departments in the fourth quarter and new business processes to make that process go easier. So like I said, the main thing to remember is the earlier, the better. And hopefully we'll know about more about 1-1. We're already talking about 1-1 plan designs on my calls at work. So they'll be coming up very soon as well. And we'll be sure to share those with uh, with everybody here. Uh, I, know, I can tell you that that uh, we, we were a little reluctant to buy into the DocuSign uh, process at first just given the, the sheer amount of questions that we get from the documents that are in a part of that uh, that process. But uh, I'll say the last five cases that we've seen flow through in the last two weeks uh, through the DocuSign process are flowing through uh, final underwriting and final case issuing is so much faster using that that streamlined process. So we're, we're excited about you know, what that means to the uh, relieving some of that pressure in the fourth quarter. Good to hear that. That speeds up the all savers, especially with COVID. Being able to get those electronic signatures is enormous. We're just driving all over town to get signatures. So absolutely happy to hear it's working great. Absolutely. Well, Mark, thank you for being here today. Uh, join us next time. That's it. All we got for today. Join us next time for our next installment. And uh, happy fourth quarter. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed this episode in our fourth quarter carrier update series. Be sure to check out all the episodes on our website at www.legacybrokerskc.com and follow us on LinkedIn to join in the conversation and let us help you with your fourth quarter cases. Whether you have a tough renewal that you need help with or you have a new prospect, we shop the entire market to get the most competitive rates available for you every single year. Let our expertise in self-funded group health plans be your competitive advantage. We provide an entire suite of back office support services for agents from quoting to case install and renewal support. We have your back every step of the way. Always here to help agents just like you when you need us. So send us your RFP today. See for yourself.